These are the plaintiffs, Nicole Reason and Kirby Gaston. Nicole says she rented an apartment from the defendant, and as it turns out, she's a bona fide scammer. The woman doesn't own the apartment, and they're here in the good name of justice suing for the $4,500 the defendant stole from them. This is the defendant, Natalie Jean. She says she rented a two-family house from the owner and rented the first floor to the plaintiffs. Then, out of the blue, the owner was foreclosed on and tried kicking everyone out of the house quickly. She has no idea why the plaintiffs are suing her, because subletting is legal in her state, and she doesn't owe them any money in the eyes of the law. That's for sure. She's accused of pretending to be someone she's not. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiffs rented an apartment from the defendant, but they say All she's right. just a People's squatter who second. stole their yeah, money. The, the defendant says judge. she's a victim, too. The landlord went into foreclosure. It's the case of your house is Let not a home. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Nicole Reason. Yes. And Kirby Gaston. Yes. Okay, you're suing Natalie Jean, your landlord, for $4,500 that you want returned to you, the two months rent you pay, the security deposit, and the dog deposit, because according to you, she didn't have a right to lease to you to begin with. What happened? Well, um, it was one day my husband called me, and he told me he found this apartment on this website that's called classyapartment.com. On the website, it said, um, apartment for rent for 1300 call ASAP. Right? My husband called her. He went to see the apartment. The following day, I went with him. I seen the apartment. I said, you know what? I like the apartment. We're going to go ahead with it. Okay. January 1st, we gave a total deposit of 4400 And the third, we gave her additional $100. So that made it a whole total of 4500 Okay. We did you sign a lease? Yes. May I see the lease you signed? This is what she gave. Do you have the actual lease? As no, to... this is everything that she gave. Okay, so she actually gave you a picture? No, no, no. This okay, is a... that's a picture of something. Do you have the something? I just brought the copies. Yeah, never do that. Always bring an original, which is much easier to read than, than no a picture. All right, so it says move in, blah, blah, blah. This will be a month to month. So it was a month to month. All right, now what's this other document you gave me a picture of? That is a document that she forged the landlord name on, that I never met the landlord. Who is Antoine Sanders? The landlord, he's right here. Okay, can you switch with him, please? All right, according to you, do you, oh, for, do you have a lease with the landlord? Yes. May I see your lease? You are the landlord, you're the owner of the property? Yes, I am. All right, so now, how long have you been renting to her? I never gave her a lease. How long have you been renting to her? I never rented her the place. I don't know what you're talking. What do I you mean? I never rented her an apartment okay. at my house. So how is she living there? Her friend used to live there. Her friend moved out and she moved in. Okay, so she moved in without your authority? Yes. No. Okay, show me the lease. Does it have your name on it or somebody else's? My name. Take a look at that. Is that your signature and her signature? Because it looks like a lease. Why is that a copy that you were bringing me to? Why don't you have an original? This That's is not I my have. signature. That's not your signature? No, this so is fake. So she forged your signature? Definitely. Do you have any ID on you right now? Of course. Pull out any ID that has your signature, please. Did you forge that? No. You've been to court with her already, right? Yes. Why did you go to court? Because she didn't want to leave when I told her to. Why were you trying to get her out? Because she's not supposed to be there. Why? Yeah, but I mean, don't you want some? Was she paying rent? No, she wasn't. Oh, well, that's a good reason. When was the last time she paid rent? Never. She's never paid any rent? No. Have you ever paid any rent? Yes. Show me proof that you've paid rent. My proof is um, in the other room. I can't hear you. My proof is in the other room. I have Why? One. You don't think that's going to come up here? Yes. Will somebody please get whatever proof she left in the other room? Describe the bag it's in. It's in a, a cat in a hat bag. Yeah. Oh, that ought to narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite frankly, this really looks like the same person signed both. It doesn't look like his signature at all. 
So if you have no right to lease the place, how did you find out that there was a problem? Like, how did, how did it come up? Well, the 1st of February, I was actually, I just came from work and I was just signing the check to take upstairs to her. Probably after I called my husband, he told me she called, no, she texted him and said she don't want no check to give her cash or money order. So That's I found it strange at the beginning. She told us a check, money order, or cash is okay, but all of a sudden you just want cash or money order, right? So I tried to reach out to her. She didn't answer the phone. Okay, it bothered me, bothered me. Half an hour later, my bell ring. It's the landlord. Two guys standing at the door, actually. I never seen them in my life. Now, I'm not thinking. I wasn't nervous or nothing, but I should have never opened the door. I opened the door, and he was like, um... Who are you? you? Know? Yeah, he said, who are you? I said, I'm Nicole. What's the problem? He said, do you know who I am? I said, no. He said, I'm the landlord for this house. I said, you can never be the landlord because she lives upstairs. He said, no. The girl that live upstairs, who's Natalie Jean, she don't live... She's not supposed to be there, and she's renting out the apartment to you, and no one's supposed to be in the house. I said, are you serious? I got upset, and I called my husband. I told him, you have to come home right away. And from that, that's so how I So this happened up. in February? Yes, February 1st. And you have received zero payment from her since ever? No. You didn't get... Nobody paid you for January? No. Nobody paid you for February? No. And nobody's paid you for March? No. When I found out that Nicole was staying there, I went there because Natalie did the same thing to another guy. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you the truth. It's court. Why is it taking so long to get her out then? She partitioned to the court saying that she need for cause. So I have to go to, back to court on the 14th. How, how, how long have you been riding the system the way you do? <laughs> go ahead and get, give her her cat in the hat bag and show me proof that you've paid him rent. <laughs> So how do you check out a, uh, a tenant that you're going to live with or rent to to know that they're okay, safe, whatever? Criminal uh, report and credit check. Great. If they're not murderers, you're going to live with them? Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, you, you know, like, martial arts and such? Yes. Good. What do you say? Well, there's different... You can do a background check. There's a lot of companies out there who do background checks, so, I mean, that's another way... Would you live with a stranger if you checked him out? Uh, personally, not my, my preference, no. Okay. Going inside the courtroom. I don't have the, uh... Okay, so from the beginning... Show me proof that you paid him rent. I don't have proof of the rent. Right well, now. then what did you think was in your cat in the hat bag? Because you it's told me lease. I left the proof in the other room. Yes, it's another lease. It's the same, it's the same lease. Sweetheart. Prove you've been paying rent because according to him, you haven't paid a penny in months and months and months. And yet you're collecting from these folks. And you know that you entered into a stipulation in January in front of another judge that says that you're gone. Right? My lease is not up yet. Excuse me? I have my lease that's from the state that sends him monies. You have your lease that's from the state that sends him monies. Okay. Did you sign his name on this piece of paper? No. Show me the lease that's from the state that sends him monies. The plot just gets thicker and thicker. Housing voucher assistance program, but it doesn't prove that actual payments are being made. Oh, I don't know. Where's your, well, yeah, you can call your, your social worker here or your, wh whoever the employee is and show that rent is being paid. This is important to me because I need to know if he's lying about rent being paid. So I'm going to take a recess and we're going to make a phone call. Now, I am like the police. If you make me chase you, it's not going to be good. So I'm going to ask you guys one last time. Are rent payments being sent to him by whatever housing authority this is? I'm not... Now I don't know. You said it could be just a paper that they... And they didn't go through. Well, I think you would know because it's your benefit. So you would know if I it's... I don't know. And are you... Have you received any housing payments? Section 8, anything else like that? Any housing program payments on this property? No, ma'am. Actually, this case is under investigation. This is? Yes, it is. For fraud. I'm not even going to take a recess. You have zero proof that you are paying the landlord. You have collected $4,500 from these people. And 
are, you're still living there, right? Yes, I am. Right. And are you going to evict them? No. You kind of feel bad for them. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Um, they have not paid, you haven't, you didn't pay March to her, right? Had you already paid February? Oh, no. you had already paid two months plus security. Yes. All right. She paid one month on security. What no. happened is, ma'am, when I found out. You know, if you said good morning, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Do, it's not funny. Listen, ma'am. Do you have the proof of what you paid her? This is the receipt that she wrote up. Oh, yeah. Well, you gave me a picture. That's this, right? No, that's something else. Yeah, it says 4,400 and then 100. And it says 4,200 and 300 on your other document. So how is it that she paid you? There's two receipts from you. How is it that she paid they you? Had, they paid a broker's fee and the security deposit. Broker's no. fee? <laughs> and, and a the broker's fee, fee to who? And they, they paid Wait the a minute. Oh, I love you. I want to take your chutzpah, bottle it up, and sell it to America. A broker's fee? Who's the broker on this one? He doesn't want to be disclosed, but he's the oh, one that put it on the ad. Oh, but you didn't pocket that money. Why don't you put, watch this, folks. <laughs> Why don't you prove to me that you paid any money to a broker? Go ahead, I'm waiting for it. I don't have a proof for that. Oh. Well, then I guess that you're full of baloney and you are simply a common thief who has pocketed 4,500 of their dollars. So here's what's gonna happen, folks. I am ruling against you. You are going to pay them back every penny of the money that you essentially stole from them. And then you can work out with him what it is, because he's the one who's really nailed in all of this. So you can work out with him what it is that you should be paying in rent and should have been paying in rent for living there, okay? okay. $4,500 verdict for the plaintiff. Jeez. <laughs> Well, the plaintiffs do prevail. They get the full $4,500. Ms. Jean, the judge, in effect, just called you a thief. She really lowered the boom on you. What do you have to say? I'm not a thief. I'm sorry. I, I'm subletting is legal, and I, that's what I did. But you couldn't prove anything. I'm, I mean, yeah, I didn't bring everything with me. Why not? I'm just, I just did it. I'm sorry. She, are you serious? You, you got so much money from them? They lived in the place. They've been living there, and they paid for their place. So you don't That's think it. you've done thank anything you. wrong? No, Listen, well, I tell you, the judge doesn't believe that at all. You better go while the getting's good. Here come the plaintiff. Seen the whole team of them now. <laughs> what, you brought every, who's everybody? You brought our whole team with you. Stand back over here so they can get a good look at you. All right. <laughs> What, what do you think about what just happened here today? I mean, she's crazy, honestly. Everybody sees she's crazy. I'm just happy that I got my money so I can just be over with this. That's it. That's a lot of money just to, you know, no throw kidding. away like that. No kidding. Now, you're still, now you got to work out a deal with him, right? I have no problem doing that. He's okay. You're all right with them being there, right? Definitely. Okay, you can step up over here so we hear you all right. You're, you're okay? They'll stay there? And you'll get at least... Uh, smile for the camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, look, good luck, however it is. It's a really wild case. Okay? Thank, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. I hope you all learned something here. Okay? Harvey, what do you have to say about this? Okay. Hey, Doug, you know what? This actually could be grand theft, which, by the way, is a criminal felony. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.